This is my 200 watt Curacera solar panel with my homemade frame. It's pretty adjustable. It uh, comes out here into this 30 amp connector. Can't think of the name right now. Anderson Power Pool, yeah. And that's a 12 gauge wire. And it's not permanent. I still have to run the wire over by my bedroom, but it comes in. It's going to my box. Got two six volt deep cycle batteries, golf cart. Got some uh, wiring in there. It's my Xantrex charge controller. Don't have the uh, cover on it. It's right there, because uh, still trying to figure out exactly how I want to set my voltages. But uh, there's a um, pretty big inverter under there. Don't know if you can be yeah, on my eliminator. And uh, it's a uh, thousand watts, uh, 1200 for five minutes, and 2000 for a couple seconds. So the power comes out of my battery into this 300 amp disconnect switch, and then that feeds into a 100 amp breaker which is off right now and then that is also feeding into a 30 amp circuit breaker feeding my fuse panel and that goes down there into that and then we have two 10 gauge wires turn my flashback on two 10 gauge wires right here that are going into my charge controller uh, for the solar input there's one of them being used and there's another one because I also have my fully modified battery charger it, I put thermal protection in it and a circuit breaker and a, uh, some smoothing capacitors and a reverse block diode. And uh, I disabled the 75 amp engine start. It only, it currently only does the, uh, right now it's off. And then that turns it on. And that's 2 amp. And you turn this on. LED comes on. And that turns on the relay. You can switch between the modes, turn it off, and that's all the way off. So that comes, and that's got a Anderson power pull on it. And that's just for charging my batteries when I don't have any sun, or for testing purposes mainly. And so the front of my box, got a surge protector power strip, the switch to my eliminator inverter, and a 30 amp switch right here to charge external batteries. And that's right there. Goes to a 25 amp um, fuse, and then that goes to this plug right here on the side, which goes to my battery charging leads. This is 10 gauge wire. It's really nice and heavy duty. And then we have a 12 volt socket, 12 gauge wire. It's a grounding bus, 15 amp fuse. Nice little cover. You can't even see it. It's dark. Homemade cart. Uh, support uh, all the weight this thing does weigh pretty much and that is my anti walk away device so I don't get this thing ripped off because there's quite a lot of money invested in this project and uh, it's the end of the day just gone from school batteries are all nice and charged up inverter works flip this on come over here turn on switch and it's on it's running Turn off. I don't need it. I've been using 12 volt power mainly, and uh, I think that's about it. Might be uh, adding some more stuff to this. I think I'm gonna put night lights all around it, auto dark, like auto turn on when it gets dark, just to make this thing a little nicer. And I'm thinking about putting some Dean one pair of Dean's connectors on here for my RC battery charger. Don't know what you guys think of those connectors. Let me know. I like these Anderson power poles. Just order 20 more. Pretty nice. Alright, thanks.